the ancient of days. None above Him, none before Him, all of time in His hands. For His throne it shall remain and ever stand. All the power, all the glory, I will trust in His name. For my God is the Ancient of Days. Though the dread of night overwhelms my soul, is here with me. I am not alone. Oh, His love is sure, and He knows my name. That my God is the ancient. His throne it shall endure and ever stand. All the power, all the glory, I will trust in His name. For my God is the ancient of days. I may not see what the future brings. I will watch and wait for the Savior King. Then my joy comes, standing face. above him, none before him, all of time in his hands. For his throne it shall endure and ever stand. All the power, all the glory, I will trust in his name. Great to not only be reminded, but also sing praises to the Ancient of Days. Today we are beginning a new series in the book of Revelation, the last book of the Bible. But before we do that, it would be good to chat with the people around us. In the book of Revelation, especially the chapters we're covering, Jesus gives his assessment of the churches. So before we look at that, how about we talk about what has been our assessment of the feedback we have been given or we have received. So for the next minute or so, chat with the people around you. If you don't know them, please introduce yourself and think about this one question. What's the best positive feedback that you've received? Or one of them, if you've got a lot. What's the best feedback you have received? One minute and then we'll come back together again.
Test, test, one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, please finish the comment you're on as we gather back together. So hopefully there were a lot of positive feedback that we received or the people who you were talking to received. I remember going to a seminar run by a teacher and the teacher was saying that it's very important to give positive feedback to people, to your students. And then she mentioned that there's this one kid who did everything wrong and it was very hard for her to give a positive feedback to this student. So one day she saw this student, this boy, and she really wanted to give him positive feedback. So she said, just say his name's Bob. Bob, it's great that you're breathing. <laughs> She couldn't think of anything to say. Well, I hope that wasn't the case for you or the people around you. And there were a lot of positive feedback. Well, we're talking about feedback. Uh, let's have a look at some of the churches, not only back then, but also relevant for ourselves today. I'm going to ask Ed as he comes and prays before reading from Revelation chapter 2, verses 1 to 7. You can follow along on the screen or on your devices or Bible. Okay, uh, let's pray. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for inspiring all Scripture by the Holy Spirit. Help us by your Spirit, so to hear your Holy Word, that we may be equipped for every good work. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Today's Bible reading is from Revelations 2, 1-7, um, and it's from the NIV version. Okay, Revelations 2, verse 1. To the angel of the church in Ephesus write, These are the words of him who holds the seven stars in his right hand and walks among the seven golden lampstands. I know your deeds, your hard work, and your perseverance. I know that you cannot tolerate wicked people, that you have tested those who claim to be apostles, but are not, and have found them false. You have persevered and endured hardships for my name, and have not grown weary. Yet I hold this against you. You have forsaken the love you had at first. Consider how you have fallen. Repent, and do the things you did at first. If you do not repent, I will come to you and remove your lampstand from its place. But you have this in your favour. You hate the practices of the Nicolaitans, which I also hate. Whoever has ears, let them hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To the one who is victorious, I will give the right to eat from the tree of life, which is in the paradise of God. Just checking that I'm on, yes, and uh, we're having some trouble with the streaming, is it, is it, we're still having trouble, okay, um, I don't know, can somebody take a phone out or something and just log on and, yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I remember when I was in COVID isolation and I tried to log on and nothing was on. And I was sitting there going, oh, you know, this is so frustrating. So it would be helpful. But anyway, um, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, um, feedback is really important um, as we uh, enter a new phase of uh, COVID. You know, we're all getting feedback on whether we have um, COVID through rat tests and all that sort of stuff. Um, there are certain things that we get feedback on you know we um, um, a performance review at work and um, just to see how we're going in our jobs and if you're studying you have exams and you get assessments to see what are you learning the stuff that uh, you're supposed to be learning uh, my car gets a feedback you know I take it to the mechanic every once in a while just to see 
whether anything is broken and whether I should be driving it and that sort of stuff. Um, but uh, sometimes feedback isn't always the thing that we want to, to know. You know, I, um, I'm very reluctant to go to my GP to get a, um, a review. You know, I think the last time uh, I had a, a, a full checkup or whatever, uh, he just told me, you know, you need some more calcium, you know, like an old person. And, uh, and I thought, oh, you know, that's all you got. There's not anything that's going to kill me.